Mexico City is unlike any other city in the world. With a population of over 20 million people, it is hands down one of the most liveliest places I've ever traveled to in my life. These overcrowded streets of Mexico City are giving me flashbacks of the time that I used to live in India. And has something to offer for pretty much everyone within its vastly different districts. So in today's video, we'll be scratching just the surface and exploring a small fraction of what this monolithic city has to offer. Hola and bienvenido from beautiful Mexico City, guys. Right now it's about 10. 30 a.m. I'm currently walking over to this neighborhood called Roma Norte that I've had a lot of people recommend to me. It's this really cool neighborhood with hipster vibes and they have a lot of like cool cafes, restaurants and shops to check out. But before I do that, I need to find an OXO, which by the way, I just did. <laughs> I'm literally in front of it right now. But anyway, OXO is like Mexico's equivalent of a 7-Eleven and I need to top up my phone over there. So yesterday I bought a SIM card for about 80 pesos but because I didn't add enough balance to it, it stopped working within a few hours. So I talked to a local this morning and they said as long as I top it up for at least 200 pesos, it's gonna last me an entire month because you get like 10 gigs of data, unlimited calling anywhere within US, Canada and Mexico. With a little bit of broken Spanish and some common sense, I was able to get my phone topped up for about 200 pesos and I should be good for a month now. And I also just typed Roma Norte on Google Maps and looks like it's a 32 minute walk because it's like 2.5 kilometers away. Normally, I would just take the metro or the subway, but because I'm still new to the city, I don't really know the city too well. So I think walking there would just be a good way to also, you know, explore more of the city and get to know it a little bit better. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little surprising to me because nobody really speaks English out here and I mean it's surprising only because when I was coming here I was thinking Mexico City is obviously like a massive city you know it's got a huge population so normally when you go to like a bigger city even when it's in a foreign country you know usually people speak a little bit of English but here guys it's like not a single person that I've met so far speaks English I'm not even talking about fluent English I'm just talking about like basic few words of English Every single time I've had to talk to people, it's just been like through Google Translator or just, you know, like a few words that I've actually learned last night at the hostel that I'm staying at from some of the locals that I met. So one thing you can't get enough of when out here in Mexico is all this delicious street food that they have pretty much everywhere you go. All I smell is this really, really delicious Mexican food that's being cooked up right in front of you on the streets. And guys, it is honestly just oh, so tempting. But I'm going to Roma Norte and I know there's gonna be some really cool options over there. So I've been saving my appetite for that. So I'm gonna try and resist the urge to buy some of this food from here, even though it's like really, really cheap. But I just wanted to like show it to you guys just how incredible the city is and how much culture there is just everywhere you go and it's not just the street food like if I walk further like there's all these like other stalls as well where they're selling like these accessories it's just so cool to see I'm just entering the Roma Norte neighborhood and one of the first things that I've noticed about this place is there's a lot of greenery here um, it's got a very like bohemian vibe there's this one really cool restaurant behind me and they're playing this really amazing live music which is really tempting me to go in there and check it out but I feel like there's a lot more to explore so I'm gonna keep walking for the time being this area definitely seems a little bit more upscale or, or I should say a little bit more expensive than the area that I was in before. Um, so yeah, we'll keep walking and I'll see what I can find for cheap food and some cheap coffee. One thing that I absolutely love about Mexico City, and this is something that I don't think we even have in any of the US or Canadian cities, at least the ones that I've been to, 
Um, anyway, so what I'm talking about is everywhere you go, at least like in downtown Mexico City, there's Wi-Fi on the streets and anyone can connect to it, which is just so convenient, especially for people like me who are visiting, you know, who don't necessarily have enough data on their phone, which by the way, I do now, but I'm just trying to make a point here, okay? But I just think that's really cool that they have that here. Yes. So guys, the first one was actually so good that I ended up getting another one. And this is what the stuffing inside looks like. And you can also just come out here and add like more sauces if you want. And then there's more like condiments like onions and stuff. And this is just so delicious. Honestly, a lot of Mexican food kind of reminds me of Indian food, especially when it comes to like all the spice that goes in it. And for about 35 pesos, that was absolutely delicious food. And it has filled me up at least for the next couple of hours now. I'm gonna go on about and find a coffee shop because I just need to get some work done. I've got a lot of editing that's just been backlogged for a while. So I just found this one cafe that I'm about to walk into right now and I see a lot of people just like working on their computers. So I feel like this would be a perfect setting for me to get some work done. Delicioso. So after experiencing the beauty of the Roma Norte neighborhood and trying the delicious iced coffee at Cafe Boycott, I'm now on my way over to Zocolo. Zocolo is the main public square of Mexico City and it has a lot to do with the country's independence and its ancient history. I've heard it's usually a good time to get there around sunset because there's this huge Mexican flag right in the middle of the square and at sunset the Mexican soldiers march down to the flag and they take it down. So to get to the subway station, I have to walk past this um, this complex where there's a lot of shops and you know people just trying to sell stuff. So I'm getting all these like people like walk up to me trying to like sell me like all these random things. But it's just so easy to get out of it. All I have to say is no espanol, and then they get really disappointed and walk away. One thing that I have to say about the Mexican people, they are some of the friendliest people that I've ever met in my entire life. No matter where I go, you know, cafes, restaurants, stores, everyone's always so friendly and patient considering the fact that I don't speak Spanish you know most places I feel like especially in bigger cities people would like sort of like get impatient with you even in Canada I see that like happening a lot you know if someone doesn't speak the language sometimes people get impatient and here it's like the exact opposite like every person I talk to they always make the best effort on their end to make me understand what they're trying to say be it you know them trying Google Translator or them trying to like use their broken English or sometimes even using hand gestures. So I can tell by all the police presence and the military here in this area that I'm at the Zocalo. I'm currently walking towards the center of this public square and I can already hear like the marching bands in the background. The architecture around in this place is worth admiring. It's absolutely beautiful. Just check this out. I have some bad news. So I'm in the center of the Zocalo right now and looks like the Mexican flag that I was talking about has already been taken down. And I don't understand why because I thought they took it down at sunset and we are still like an hour and a half away from sunset. So 
maybe I got some wrong information. So I'm really sorry about that. But I'm still glad that I came all the way out here because this place is definitely worth visiting. This is, I think it's mainly just the architecture around and this square is like absolutely massive. And there's still a lot of like police and military present and I see, you know, kids and like people just going over and like taking pictures with them. And guys, I'm gonna end this Mexico City vlog right here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know we didn't get to see them take down the flag, but overall, I feel like this day has been absolutely incredible. So please make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and make sure to give this video a like and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.